Maker Lab in its simplest answer is it is a space for uh, students to come build and create, to be innovative and creative. In Maker's Lab, we did a cardboard activity and we made games for the littler kids to play. One time we made a windmill or another time we just made like games. So right now me and my class are in partners and we're learning how to decompose plants. Mrs. Janeway and I thought about this concept of a maker lab probably about a year and a half, two years ago. And it really started because she had something called the Junk Club. It was a Friday afternoon club that students could join. And what they had the opportunity to do was to just kind of play around with materials and create whatever they wanted to create. During Junk Club, over the years that we ran it, kids love working with materials. They love working with tools. They love using hot glue guns and they love just creating and I saw how much conversation was happening while they were doing it um, language development and empathy watching someone not succeed and helping them through it and I just saw how important it was and I made it bigger well I like trying my best and I like be great in trying my best and doing try my best try my best my try my best like you have access to all all the tools and stuff that you need to build. Instead of just making a game, you have to learn how the game works so you can make it. Or before making a windmill, you have to learn about the wires and the batteries and the motors and all that. My favorite thing about Maker Lab is just getting to create a lot of stuff. Through the Maker Lab, there are tools that my students would never have had the opportunity to use. So at Dewey, I am the art specialist. My classroom teaching style has changed to um, collaborate with Maker's Lab, and they're talking about how um, Maker's Lab is focusing on the process versus the product, and I'm like, well, that sounds a lot like art, because artists don't always finish have a finished product. I wanted to align that more so the kids could make that connection. So the kids have a lot more freedom in their choice of materials and what they create. Kids in here are working on patience and perseverance and um, adaptability, just working on how can I deal with this failure that I just had and build it back up to be successful. Those are all skills that students can take into their classroom and into life outside of school. I believe that students should have a voice in what they're learning and what they're doing and hear what they're making, what they're building. Uh, they are part of that decision making. They're going to be more invested in creating. Something I felt successful in Maker Lab is I've transitioned the collaboration that we do in here into the um, classroom, like taking others' ideas and opinions and putting it into a project. One assignment we had to do in Maker's Lab was to build a game, and me and my friends were very proud of ourselves. I, I really like how the confident helped in my other classes, and I just love Maker's Lab. When there's a project that's being given to a student, and initially they're like, whoa, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna start? And I always just say, just start. Just, just start doing it. Once they start building, then they're getting ideas from people talking to them, helping them out. You know, you should add this, you should make this. The best moments are at the end when they're like, yes, I did it. I love those moments of just pure joy.